President Biden nominated him for the position back in April. Now the sheriff is trying to convince lawmakers that he is the right person for the job. KPRC 2's Kathy Hernandez joining us live with the promises that Sheriff Ed Gonzalez is making if he is confirmed for the position. Kathy. Good morning. That hearing is ongoing right now. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez is taking some tough questions from senators, especially about the crisis at the border, and they want to know his plan for taking over an agency many now are calling in turmoil. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of my background. I've worked extremely hard. I'm a very hard worker. I have a strong work ethic. My heart's in the right place. I'm an effective, proven leader that's been able to effectively lead and manage large workforces. And Sheriff Gonzalez told the Senate's Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee his experience in Houston and Harris County would help him lead ICE. This would be a vital role since the agency hasn't had a confirmed leader since 2017. Multiple senators expressed their concerns about the record of people crossing the border illegally and a decrease in ICE arrests. Senator Portman highlighted the fact that Gonzalez withdrew Harris County from a federal partnership that allows sheriff's deputies to enforce immigration laws. As Harris County Sheriff, why did you terminate the 287G agreement with ICE in 2017? Uh, this was a voluntary program, so I was working in an amicable manner uh, in coordination with the local ICE director uh, to making sure what the impacts of my decision would be. Uh, and I had to consider, obviously, the local realities as well and, and the importance of local law enforcement also working with a diverse immigrant community. It's unclear how long that hearing will last or when a vote will take place. If he is confirmed, the Harris County Commissioner's Court will pick his replacement, and that replacement will likely be in place until the 2022 election. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. Kathy